Hi, welcome back to another video. I'm Dan from On Top Marketing and today I'm going to teach you how to see where your website is ranking from anywhere at all in the world, completely free, um, with no usage limits and no need to install any strange software or anything like that. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in and show you how to do it and then I'm going to explain why it matters after. So all you need to do is go to Google Ads. So if you don't already have a Google Ads account, then sign up for one. I'm not, you know, you, you don't have to spend any money with this, but literally if you just sign up for one, you can use this tool for free. Um, so sign up for a Google Ads account if you don't already have one and make sure you have a um, search campaign, a text search. So you know, like these ads that you see right here on the screen, um, make sure you have one of those campaigns created. Otherwise you won't see this tool. Um, even if you're not going to run it, you can create it and pause it like you can see on the screen right now. And basically, after you've created that um, text ad campaign, uh, it's super easy. I'll just show you. You just click on the plus, plus new campaign, set website traffic, search, and then just continue and then just go through. And then after you've finished creating it, as I say, put, you could write test in everything if you wanted. Just come in, click on the little drop down and say pause, and then it won't ever run. It won't charge you any money. Um, <clears throat> All you have to do after that is come up to tools and settings and then go to planning and then add preview and diagnosis. And then from there, what it allows you to do is type in any search query you want from any location you want and also on any device that you want. So the devices will often bring back different search results. So you can actually, you know, select that as well. Now, the real reason this tool exists is for you to check out your ads and something that I realized a little while ago is that I've never heard any marketer ever talk about how this can help with SEO. Um, but I literally use this all the time to check where my clients' websites are ranking um, in different areas. So I'm based in one location, which is just outside of Colchester. And I've got clients that are in you know, Suffolk, Hertfordshire, Kent, all over. So knowing how they're ranking for some of these terms in these different areas is super important. Um, so... Yeah, I'll just show you how it works basically. So if, if we was to do plumbing company near me and then I put in here that my location is Colchester, uh, which is in England, and I'll select this to desktop so you can see it. And then we come down, obviously it shows all these ads that are running. Um, and then further down, you can see all these companies here, Colchester, same day plumber, uh, plumber in Colchester. So you can see these are real local results. If I change this to somewhere a little bit further afield, like Norwich, uh, right here, <coughs> and scroll down, these SERP listings are all Norwich. Emergency Plumbers Norwich, Plumber in Norwich, TSM Plumbers Norwich. So as you can see, we've got, you know, literally unlimited data here. Um, Google would obviously doing this so you can see <coughs> whether or not your ads are showing without it affecting your um, click-through rate. Because if you was to search and you was in this location and you was to search, you know, for your keyword, then you've got another impression and obviously you're not going to click on your own ads. So now your click-through rate has dropped, which can then give you, you know, the wrong idea about how your ad copy is performing. Um, so that's why it's here. But I mean, that's also going to help you when it comes to figuring out your organic click-through rate as well in the search console because if you're doing the searches um, even if it is in your area if you're doing those searches then you're going to be you know adding those impressions which again is it's two two problems really first one is it's going to decrease your, your click-through rate in search console which could make you think that you need to work on your title tag and meta description um, and secondly obviously now you're going to inflate the impressions and you could forget that you're the one doing a bunch of these searches and end up thinking that there's more value in a keyword than there is and you know it can just really skew your uh, ideas on things so this is really really cool guys and it don't cost anything just trying to make that point very clear because as i say there are companies out there that charge like over a thousand pound a year for this exact service and like nobody thinks that they're silly to pay it because this service is way worth the money you know so this massively changed when i first found out about this this massively changed my uh, perception on location targeted pages and the reason I say that is because whereas in the past a lot of people have taught that you build out a location page to target those locational keywords so instead of plumbing company near me uh, for this Norwich location you'd be targeting um, plumbing company Norwich right but a lot of times those things, have I spelled that right? Yeah, I spelled that right. A lot of times those things don't get searched that much. And the other thing, and this is a, a 
you know, one of the truest things that I think I ever heard Chase Rayner say is that a lot of times these location uh, keywords are vanity keywords. Like, business owners look for this stuff. Like, for example, web design cultures to get so many searches. And I guarantee that the majority of those are, um, you know, web design agencies looking for it. And you you can you can often see it based on an industry like there's an incredibly high demand for something that there isn't really that much of a demand for if you if you use the uh, the search volume in you know Search Console or Ahrefs or somewhere as an indication of that. So I sort of fell out of love with um, location targeted pages for a little while. Um, based on that, then come full circle to realize that you can create a location page that talks about Norwich for example and this is what I'm doing with loads of my clients right now we're really winning big like these are bringing in so many leads because I, I think people don't get this stuff yet right um, if you create a Norwich page and you don't have to target plumbing company Norwich you can just target plumbing company just put it in there like plumbing Norwich if that's the main one that gets searched you can still put that in there um, because there is customers on there, there's just not as many as it looks like. If it says it's getting 80 searches a month, there ain't 80 people that need it. There's probably about 20 that need it, and you know, 60 businesses that are looking where they're ranking. But if you if you target plumbing Norwich and then hyphen and then you could say, you know, local plumbing company or something like that. As long as you're mentioning Norwich in the page and you've got all the other on-page signals and all the stuff that goes with it to, to target that you'll end up ranking for plumbing company in Norwich, like plumbing company when the people in Norwich search um, without that being your, you know, main sort of keyword targeting, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Um, so yeah, that's the takeaway from this. As I say, really, really cool stuff. Hopefully this is of use to you guys. If it was, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more because I've got more cool tips like this that are going to save you thousands of pounds a year. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the channel, like, and drop a comment down below with anything that you want to ask. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.